We live in a world ruled by tyranny, where knowledge is suppressed and ignorance is glorified. A world where propaganda and misinformation travel the airways at the speed of lies. But in the midst of the violence and chaos, a great awakening is taking place. And as the media empires continue to collapse, a new network is forming. A network of truth. A network of courage. A network of awareness. Peace and greetings. You are now tuned into the Network of Awareness podcast radio station, where we examine current events, politics, health, finance, and topics of cultural relevance in America and throughout the world, while bringing you insightful interviews with guests that will both educate and inspire you. And now, your host of the Network of Awareness podcast radio station, Aura the Informationalist. Just tell me what's happening to me in plain English without the non-style jump up. My aura is a network full of awareness and gifts like Aura the Informationalist. Yes, let's try this one more time, folks. Let's do it. Welcome to the Network of Awareness podcast radio station. I'm your host, owner and founder of the Network of Awareness or the Informationalist. And welcome to this live broadcast on YouTube, Twitter, and on Spreaker via audio broadcast. Of course, after the show is over, we will have a... uh, It will be able to be downloaded from um, multiple platforms for podcasts. So you can download it wherever you listen, your favorite podcast listening platforms. Um, what can I say? We just started a live broadcast. Things went awry. Things went wacky, wicky, wacky. And, you know, this is this is the stuff that I deal with. Um, by the way, folks, I found out that Facebook has suspended me for two days for God knows what. I really don't know what they're suspending me for. It has something to go in against their community guidelines. So I can only imagine. I didn't get a notification. I don't even know what the the error is. I'm going to have to look for it on Facebook to find out exactly what went down to cause me to get suspended for two days. What's interesting is that for the past couple of days, it's already been two days and I haven't been able to get on Facebook. So if that's the case... I should be able to get back on Facebook tomorrow. But this is what I was mentioning, is that with this virtual government, when it comes to these platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, who cares if Elon Musk owns Twitter? Who gives a shit? It's all the same nonsense. These virtual governments are making it to where you cannot say and you cannot have a freedom of speech to speak anything that is true because they want you to go with the narrative that they want you to go along with, especially 
And I mean, especially when it comes to the narrative with the alphabet gang. You know who I'm talking about. Those people that run around, you know, thinking they um, can be called any type of pronoun. Those people that are narcissistic to the core. They want you to go along with whatever they believe to be true, even though it's considered an abomination according to the word of the Most High. Those people, especially when it comes to them. And that's the type of world we're coming to where this deviant, malevolent force, this satanic force, this very dark force that's like a looming cloud over a lot of different countries, especially the United Shenanigans of America, is why this stuff is happening. So I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. All right. So what one of the things, updates I want to give you is that I'm going to be doing my broadcast specifically through Spreaker Live. I'm not going to do live broadcasts anymore on YouTube unless I have a guest or a co-host like a brother of Bond or brothers or sisters from the BOCC or guests that I have from Podmatch or people that are reaching out to me on my website to filling out those guest forms and wanting to come on to the show. When I have those types of show, I'll be on YouTube and I will be, and I'm talking about video. My shows will still go out audio to YouTube, right? But I'm not going to be doing the um, visuals anymore by myself. And the reason why I'm not going to do it by myself, like I'm doing right now, kind of, right? Because I'm doing a pre-recorded. Whenever I have a guest, like a pre-record, you'll see me by myself and I'll introduce the pre-recorded episode onto the screen and play it like I'm going to do right now. And speaking of that, today's show is Surviving and Thriving with uh, Kevin Roth. And I'll tell you a little bit about Kevin in just a moment. I just want to get this out because this is important. This is why, you know, I used to get caught up in the fact that my numbers are not up there. But what I've come to find out in, in my observation of things, and this is with the majority of people that have their numbers going up, a lot of it has to deal with three things. Number one, if you have content that is so how to or something beneficial like real estate or teaching people how to eat good foods, you're going to build up your numbers. Those numbers will go up because those types of subject matters are not considered to going against the narrative, the satanic Luciferian narrative that this country is under. So that stuff is going to thrive. Two, whenever you are a narcissist, in whatever it is, whatever it is you're doing on your platform, and those are the people that promote racism. Those are the people that that like to look at things like, oh, it's black versus white versus yellow versus red. People that feed that type of narrative. People that talk about the white man this, the white man that, the black man this, the black man that. All of those types of narratives. Those are going to gain numbers. Why? Because those are narratives based on pride. And pride sells on social media. Idolatry sells. Pride sells because it is the very wickedness that they want you to believe in that keeps us divided so that the powers that shouldn't be maintain their level of control. That is the secret Luciferian covenant that exists very today. And I noticed that my numbers were, were growing when I was preaching that self-righteous indignation, when I was being very narcissistic, when I was well, on, my, on my holy high horse and thinking that, oh, you know, I'm Hebrew, I'm the chosen, I'm the elect, I'm this, I'm that. You know, the most high is rolling with me and there ain't nobody that can see me because I'm chosen. When I was on that nonsense, my numbers were growing steadily. Why? Because that's that prideful speech. Prideful speech sells. Okay? I've taken a different turn. I've taken a different turn, which is the third one, which is just speaking the truth with great humility and great understanding and knowing that letting people know that I'm not special and that this thing called life 
is something that we can only begin to understand and that we're in it together. And that there's only two things. There's the wicked and there's the righteous. And what I mean by righteous, those that are striving and those that are, are working towards getting an understanding of the most high that's within them. Those that are also getting an understanding of the Messiah and getting to an understanding of walking in that life, in that light. Okay? Those that are really bringing out this truth. Those people that are exposing this long legacy of lies and not getting caught up in the bullshit narratives that a lot of these people sell and they do it well. That is the only reason why I've seen from my perspective that their numbers grow so fast because they're feeding the very energetic pride that fills a lot of people's spirits these days where it's a level of competition and it all stems from a great sense of insecurity and it all stems from believing the lies that are sold. Because what's even interesting is that a lot of people know that racism is a big lie. A lot of people know that the complexion of your skin, no matter how much is demonized here in the United States and other places in Western civilization and literally around the world, even though they know that it's a big lie, that the truth has no color and that the complexion of your skin is not a color. Okay. Even though they know this, they still sell it because they want people to gravitate to their platforms and the powers that shouldn't be that run these platforms know that. And that's why they grow. That's why they make money. That's why you see these congregations, these camps, these cults, these people that promote these narratives and they promote them with a lot of passion and a lot of conviction in their speech, they grow. Now, with all that being said, one thing that I've done is I've detached myself from wanting that same type of exposure. Whatever exposure I get, I leave it up to the most high to give me because I'm done trying to fit into these, these uh, virtual government narratives to basically accommodate their bullshit. Places like Facebook that just suspended me. Even this network that I'm on right now that you're hearing me on, which is YouTube. I could give two, I could give a rat's ass about YouTube. YouTube can kiss my ass. The only reason why I put this on here is because it's just another way to reach out to people. So hopefully that if for some godforsaken reason that I'm not allowed to be on this platform, which might happen in the near future, it's only a matter of time. Because I can, I'm only going to be able to speak my truth on television. And, and hopefully that goes un, unhindered, which is going to be on, on um, Roku, Fire Stick, and then on e, uh, iOS and Android. And then eventually Apple TV and Samsung TV, once I can afford that type of production level. But even with that, I'm always going to bring it back to the website. And what I'm working on is getting it to where my website is the hub for this information and also for people to subscribe to, whether it be for free or whether it be paid. In the meantime, I'm going to try to do what I can with Patreon and with Supercast and these other channels that I'm on, you know, for subscription base and eventually with Roku too, because Roku is going to be solely subscription. But I have to mention this because this thing is get it's it's not getting me to the point where I'm quitting what I'm doing, but it's 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 just revealing to me what sells these days, and even some of these people that claim to be messengers of truth, they're not. They are spiritual terrorists. They are the people that are feeding the narrative to keep you spiritually suppressed and oppressed. Period. Because they're going to push the narrative. For example, I saw a video yesterday, and I'm not going to name from which camp, right? Because that, that doesn't need to be said. But I'm watching how they're claiming that this is the new face of terrorism, and they're showing this white guy. Now, granted, a lot of times in this country, the so-called white boy or the young white man is usually the one that's killing a lot of people. But that's by design. 
you have to think about the fact that there are this this whole culture of so-called white people have been given so much privilege and authority to do whatever they want. Of course, you're going to have that type of behavior. It is fed psychologically, systematically. Are there so-called black and brown people that are causing havoc in the world every single day? But it's not sensationalized. It's sensationalized in a different way, where it's like if you're black or brown, you're a criminal. You're not a terrorist. And even these people that are causing these mass shootings and all of that and are part of it, they're not even being considered terrorists. But they are, they are on the low spectrum of the freaking problem. They're not the problem. The problem is these principalities that are working behind the scenes that you and I cannot see with the naked eye. You can only see it with your spiritual eyes. And these so-called messengers from these congregations and camps and platforms, they know that too. But they're going to, they're going to sell you the narrative of pride. They want you to have pride in this, in your complexion. Because they know that as long as they get you gravitating to this bullshit narrative, it's going to sell. It's going to fill you up with that pride to support their platforms. I refuse to do that. I used to do that. And when I used to do that, I noticed that I got a lot of love. I got a lot of love because I was basically conveying the same hate that's perpetrated in this world. That same residual effect that keeps us on a low level. I choose not to be on the low level no more. I choose to be with that Christ consciousness, the Christ mindset. I choose to be in the way of life of compassion, understanding, humility, and righteousness. Why? Because it is the right thing to do. Period. And I am no longer attached to feeling validation through the growth of this platform. This platform is going to grow as it has been through the grace of the most high. And the moment that I started being on my high horse and my self-righteous indignation is the moment that I stopped doing, or the moment I started that, the most high was letting me rock. But I wasn't no longer serving the most high. I was serving myself. And there's a lot of people that were doing that. There's a lot of people that consider themselves to be prophets, but they are prophets of bullshit. They are prophets of division. And that's all they cause. And people gravitate to them for that same reason. And what a lot of them do is they give you a little bit of truth. So I just wanted to mention that before I even play this episode, because I'm just noticing that I'm getting hit from all different types of angles. And the reason I noticed that I'm, this is happening to me is because the more that I'm growing spiritually, the more that I'm humbling my spirit to serve at a greater magnitude for a greater purpose that's far from me, but that's solely serving the most high in Christ, things are changing. The level of popularity and notoriety is sinking, is going down. But you know what? It makes sense. At the end of the day, I'm still going to do everything in my power to get this word out. And whether it reaches one person or a thousand people or whatever, it's, I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. So these social platforms that a lot of people adore and love and think that they're the best thing since sliced bread, that's okay. They're going to continue to do that. And I'm going to continue to go through my suspensions until I have to be terminated. And then I'm going to find another way. I'm going to find another way. And at the end of the day, so far, my podcast is the only way. And, and maybe that might get shut down because that gets shadow banned like, like no other. So I just want to let people know that if you have a platform, especially like there's a, a guy who he's really funny. He's got a great YouTube channel, uh, Joey B, uh, Joey B tunes. You know, this guy's platform, he exposes how people they that are very artistic, right? You have these these twelve year olds, these fifteen year olds, whatever age, doing beautiful artwork, uh, playing multitudes of instruments with with, with being self taught, 
uh, people that do beautiful graphic work, people that just have beautiful artistic ways of expressing themselves. And they have 10 followers, 100 followers. But then you get these narcissistic assholes, these narcissistic pieces of shit that they come onto these platforms like YouTube and they have 5 million followers. It doesn't make sense, but yet it does because we are engulfed in a Luciferian culture. But with all that being said, now that I got that out my system, because I have, I've never been suspended from Facebook. But now that I'm back on Facebook, I'm getting suspended quick. I just started my Facebook page all over again. But I'm here to tell you people, for anybody who likes this network, anybody who likes this podcast and likes the information I bring out, just be prepared for some changes and be prepared to pivot. Because if you really, truly are a supporter of my network, just be prepared that this network will not be on YouTube in the future. In the future. When that is, I don't know. But just be prepared if and when that does happen that you can still follow me directly and not have to go through these virtual government networks like a YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, okay? A lot of times I don't think I get flagged on, on Twitter because they, they shadow ban. So a lot of people don't even get to see my stuff shared. It's very little views. It is what it is at this present time. I've been doing this for three years. And from what I've heard, through my research, that if you have over 9,000 downloads on your podcast, then you are in the, I think it's top 20 or top 10 percentile in the podcasting world, which has a lot of podcasts. Well, guess what? The Network of Awareness has over 35,000 legitimate downloads. I have to say legitimate because there's a lot of people that get downloads, fake downloads fake downloads from these companies that help them do that, that they stream them these uh, downloads, just like they do on these social media networks. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about legitimate, official, real people downloads. We got 35,000. So I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. All right. So with that being said, today's episode is surviving and thriving. And right now we're surviving as a network. But we will be thriving in the future. Okay? And the way we'll be thriving is through the grace of the Most High. One thing I've realized is when you speak the truth, you piss a lot of people off. A lot of people don't want to hear the truth. They want to fucking be entertained all the time. They want what sounds good to their ears. They want that soothsaying. They want those smooth things to be spoken in their ears. Well, if you're that type of person, this is not the place for you. All right. So today's episode is surviving and thriving. This is going to be an in-depth interview that I did with uh, the brother Kevin Roth that lives in um, San Diego, California. And uh, it's going to be all about overcoming adversity. He's going to talk about his life and how we as human beings can go from surviving to thriving with our thoughts and with putting those thoughts into action. And what he is, is an internationally known dulcimer player. He's also a singer, songwriter, and recording artist. He sang the theme song for the PBS television show, Shining Time Station. He's gained millions of fans worldwide. He's recorded over 51 albums with his dulcimer music. He's won multiple numerous music awards and has performed all over the world. And back in 2015, Kevin was diagnosed with a stage three melanoma cancer. And he was told basically that once it was removed, which it was, that when it reappeared, that he had a 70% 70 cent, uh, 70 chance that it would return within the year and that he would only be able to live three years after that. So he really dug down deep, did some major soul searching. And it prompted him to begin the spiritual journey that he's been on to find the true meaning about what's important in his life. And that's what you're going to hear about today. He changed his diet. He changed his attitude. He created a new story. And this is in his words for his life. And that life was to be happy, cancer free individual. Now what he does is he coaches and guides people from all walks of life 
to show them what he's been able to do to create a life of fun, health, happiness, and lasting meaning. Kevin lives in, like I said, in San Diego. He has a, a fur mate called Bosco. He's got a collection of dulcimer um, instruments. He has his own original artwork that he also uh, displays on his website. All that information is in the description box. He also has a new book that we're going to discuss. And you can actually have access to this book. It's called Between the Notes. It's practical ways to find your inner groove and dance to the beat that makes your heart sing. All right. This was released in January of 2023. So without further ado, I'm going to bring on Kevin and the interview that I did with him, which was really great. All right, people. So let me pull that up right now. And uh, let's get it rocking here. Okay, here we go. All right, brothers and sisters, it looks like um, there's no sound. <laughs> so I'm not going to even try to play this again. I'm going to have to figure out what's going on here. Honestly, like I, I really don't know what the problem is. Uh, I thought I had uh, figured it out. Uh, apparently, I didn't. Um, I really don't know what the problem is, to be honest with you folks. All right, so that's my YouTube channel. So it looks like that I don't know what's happening with that as far as like with the sound and all that, which is perfectly fine. I guess it goes back to what I was saying. This I had to uh, reinstall my system. And uh, when I did that, certain things are needing permission again. Uh, so I'm going to have to do some tests to find out what's working, what's not working. Um, so what I'm most likely going to do is for this episode in particular and this other pre-record that I was going to play right after this, which it looks like I can't do that now because until I figure out why the sound is not playing, um, I guess we can just, uh, we can just basically, you know, play this episode as just surviving and thriving, and I'll choose another title for the episode with Kevin. Um, in the meantime, 
let's expound on what I was saying here because uh, I'm going to do a series called Spiritual Terrorism. What I'm seeing a lot of is I'm seeing a lot of people that are so-called in the spiritual community or what some people like to call the truth community. And the only truth is the most high. That is the only truth. There is no other truth. We can't really be in the truth. We can have faith. We can be in the faith of the truth and we can have faith in that and walk in that faith as the best way we can, making the mistakes that we make, repenting from those mistakes and becoming better individuals, better servers to Christ, better service to the most high, better human beings walking that righteous tightrope in this thing called life and humanity. That's what we can do. But what I've noticed is that you have a lot of people in this so-called truth community that are catering to the prideful, self-righteous indignation that many people have with them. They're, they're subscribing and promoting idolatry. And the idolatry that's being promoted the most is ourselves. That is, that's the whole thing. It is going so far beyond to where I was just talking with a brother earlier today about this, where he was telling me that, you know, people were telling them that Judah comes first and that the chosen people and this and that. And at the end of the day, man, I'm going to tell you something right now. When you hear somebody talking like that, and it, it could be from, it could be the Mormons, it could be your Hasidic Jews, it could be these so-called Hebrew Israelites, it could be these so-called Christians. When they start talking like that, best believe that the Most High is not with them at all. They're serving Satan. And as much as they try to make you believe that they're not, they are. They are serving Satan. They are serving the do what thou wilt Luciferian doctrine. That's all they're doing. They can use a lot of pretty words. They could be well-versed in the scriptures. And remember, if there's anybody that's well-versed in these scriptures more than anybody else, it is Satan. If anybody's ever seen that movie, um, Devil's Advocate, check it out. Because in that movie, Devil's Advocate, right? Um, in the movie, there's a scene where Al Pacino, right? Al Pacino meets the mother. Now, they don't show this in the movie, but they talk about it. She talks about meeting Al Pacino's uh, character, which she met him in a hotel. And he knew the scriptures very well, right? So that scene, she talks about how he knew the scriptures like the back of his hand. Like she, he just knew every scripture. And then he wound up sleeping with her. And that's how they conceived the character named Kevin Lomax. And the reason I bring that up is because there's nobody that knows the scriptures better than Satan. And what a lot of these people are doing, especially these men and women, but especially these men, is they're promoting that very thing, like they're so knowledgeable and they're speaking truth, but they're coming from a place of pride. And that's where all sin begins. And that's what you have right now. You have just a lot of sin doctrine. You have a lot of pride doctrine that's leading people to sin. And that self-righteous indignation is spreading like wildfire, people. So be aware of that because you might be one of those people that are doing that right now as I speak. Humble yourself. Humble yourself to the point where you don't always have to be right. And humble yourself to the point where don't feel like you have to explain something to these types of people. Let them be. Let them be. Walk your walk in righteousness and in great humility because they are going to always have an excuse for why they do what they do. And the moment you try to bring some correction to them, they're going to look at you and make everybody else look at you because this is the ways of narcissism it's called triangulation. Um, they're going to make it look like you're a hater. Like you're going against them for any particular reason and they'll have a million, good billion reasons as to why. Okay? So with that being said, I'm going to play some music. I haven't played music in a while on a live broadcast. I'm going to do that now. Like I mentioned earlier too, 
Um, what I'm going to start doing because I'm having all these issues anyway is when I do my own personal broadcasting by myself, I'm going to stick to the podcast. As far as video, I'm going to leave that to whenever I have guests. So anybody who wants to listen to my personal live broadcasting when I'm on this mic like I am right now by myself, it's not going to be on these channels like YouTube. It'll be specifically on to the podcast, Spreaker Network for Live, and then on the rest of the platforms. Because even like trying to play this video, like I'm trying to do now, um, I do not know why it's not gaining sound. Now, I can only imagine, let me check something here, because maybe, let's try something. I, I hate giving up. <laughs> That's one thing. I'm very persistent. Now, I have the share tab audio. Okay, um, I have the share tab audio now because I have the share tab audio. I have these certain windows that are up and I have a lot of windows up here. So I'm going to try to play this video again. And for the people that are in the chat room, shout out to Sister Adasa. If you can let me know in the chat room, if you can hear Anybody in the chat room, let me know if you can hear this video. I'm going to share this audio tab again. And I'm hoping that we can find a way to rectify this. You know? Um, let me see something here. So let's see if we can hear some audio on here. Let me know if you can hear it, people. Oh, it's not even playing on my uh, broadcast now. Interesting. I might have to restart the system too, people. Yeah, I don't think the sound is coming through. Okay, still no sound. Thank you for letting me know. So yeah, that's something I'm going to have to fix before I decide to do that. Um, I'll, try, I'll try to fix it right after I finish this broadcast. In the meantime, people, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play some music for the live broadcast that we can hear. And, uh, and then I'll end the broadcast because obviously uh, this is very unexpected. I didn't expect for this to go like this. But hey, this is the type of stuff we got to deal with. We just got to stay patient and persevere through all of the, the madness and the chaos and don't allow minor hiccups and, and disturbances distract you from fulfilling your purpose, brothers and sisters. Don't let it happen because that's what the enemy wants. The enemy wants you to go off course. They don't want you to, to, to thrive in serving the Most High in Christ. So with that being said, um, let's play some music here. And um, I'll be back momentarily. You are now tuned in to the network of awareness. 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 You are now tuned in to the network of the wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place. Abba help me through my suffering Demons on attack but I can't fold I gotta gird up again Pain up in my heart and I just really need your perfectness I'm gripping on your sword a couple of ways But that's my medicine I can feel it in the air that we so close I can feel it in the air we need your hope I can feel it in the air that this the hunt I can feel it, I know you feel it I can feel it creeping, lurking, searching for me, trying to break my soul. No, I won't let you 
hurt me no more I've been seeking the father up in my soul for real I've been seeking the father He put my flesh in the dirt And put my soul in the field Touched by divine and husband Protect me from my own will Just a servant I'm looking to help my brothers Overcome their demons And keep pushing to the mark I know he will I've been fighting for my life And the only man I trust is Christ Cause he saved my life so many times I know I should've died I give Bible praise Cause his mercies always be magnified All the lust and evil in this world You know it's fit to die And I know you know it's do or die We gotta repent cause it's not much time now Guard your soul because it's going down Guard your soul because it could be now Abba help me through my suffering Demons on attack but I can't fold I gotta gird up again Pain up in my heart and I just really need your perfectness I'm gripping on your sword a couple of ways But that's my medicine I can feel it in the air that we so close I can feel it in the air we need your hope I can feel it in the air that this the hunt I can feel it, I know you feel it it don't matter, no looking back at we on the path Chasing the kingdom, narrow path is the only path Messiah said repent, so I follow that I wanna be safe when the king come, I put my head down Most I help me through it all, I pray my prayers Pierce through the clouds and land at your feet Cause you are glorious I'm going through attacks, depression deep down And hurt me inside, keep my enemies at bay I pray you bring all of the thunder and the lightning And the fire upon these demons that tempt me My enemies trying to make me fall out I know we be a hunter, so the shield of faith, my defense. Shield of faith, it quenches all the darts like Aquafina. I swim in living water, my environment to deepen. Hallelujah, I but wanna be close to you like Peter. Thank you for your mercy, I'll keep praying for our people. I know I'm not deserving, but I gotta warn them of their evil. Abba help me through my suffering Demons on attack but I can't fold I gotta gird up again Pain up in my heart and I just really need your perfectness I'm gripping on your sword a cup of ways But that's my medicine I can feel it in the air that we so close I can feel it in the air we need your hope I can feel it in the air that this the hunt I can feel it, I know you feel it And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth and the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which keep the commandments of god and have the testimony of jesus christ Don't lose the crown trying to play both sides 
If you really want to make the cut, do the best you can to make it to the most high. New generation, how you gonna make things different in this life? As the clock keeps ticking, the day gets closer. Brother, we gotta get it right. Um, all the years of tears, all the years of pain, all the years of fear, all the years of brain. Last generation left the stain. Yahweh slowly wiping it all away. Don't doubt his might, don't doubt his power. Keep stacking your faith up like a tower. 400 years was beyond sour, but with Elohim, it was 11 hours. So sad, dealing with the curses. America's got you feeling so worthless. But with kings and queens, no one can intervene. Cause Elohim is the supreme being. Never miss a beat, all the things he sees. Babylon and all her wicked deeds. Driving while black, sun going down. Cops pull you over. Get on the ground! Tables are turned and since it's been served. America's gonna get what she deserves. Recompense festival and she's gonna burn. Extra hot and crispy just like a perm. Ancestors and the transgressions got us living in a land with the transgenders. Man, what a damn lesson learned. But it could've been a boy. Come on, ancestors. This wicked man, we are to make you stuff like a broom. A lot of dirt on our race. I need to get out this place. Blood, sweat, and tears. What we see over the gears, slavery, sun and she. Time is nigh, yeah, it's coming anything. Don't lose the crown, trying to play both sides. If you really want to make the cut, do the best you can to make it to the most high. New generation, how you gonna make things different in this life? As the clock keeps ticking, the day gets closer, so brother, we gotta get it right. Uh, yeah. So I choose Yahweh with no delay. Out of main mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been a lot before churches. Cause Yah is person, I'm person. So I'm worried about complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching. Networking and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain. With a spirit that city suburban. I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose. To lyrically service the uh, mental mouth nourish until I perish. Yahweh's gonna perish. save the awakened, then take him to an ageless haven. Patient, I can't stray away. Gotta keep obliterating the pavement. Still remember that day on the phone mark. He said, Yo, take, don't you take your foot off the gas. Always something to give y'all praises. We're the dark oasis, countless cases. A peak of faithless, I'm gonna need the patience. Defeat the chases, we seek his graces for true salvation. We keep abrasing, we've been placing these revelations. See, saying no old cases. Good vibrations, we back to basics to build foundations. Y'all defeated Satan. I done made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been a lot before churches, cause y'all is perfect. Person, I'm person, so I'm worried about complicated versions Cause the call to divine divergence I'm still hurting, soul searching Networking and murking Anytime they can drop my curtain With a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The mental mouth nourish until I 
of perish. People pursuing acts of violence, third persistent act of the fires, freely forming a righteous alliance, truly against the science of pliers. On a mission with wisdom and guidance, steady to be in the ignorant science, sealing convicted and non compliant spiritual wars to move in Let's science. talk about what matters. Drop the vanity, folks out here losing their sanity. Kids popping off, lost in fantasies. People grieving over loss of family. The evil that be with the power, turning the people with creeds to cowards, seeking to seize believers with bows. Many of TV can see that it's foul. I'd have made mistakes on purpose to divide the world from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith in a lot of four churches. Cause Yah is personal person. So I'm aware of a complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching. Then working and murking. Any time to can drop my curtain. With a spirit that city suburban. I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose. To lyrically service the mental mouth never until I perish. Depression gone with every song. Music led by another echelon. Long. To get you strong, keep pressing on Long after we dead and gone From dusk till dawn, we're righteously armed With spiritual lessons from Yah We where we belong, we keeping on The righteous with third is Zion Records embellished with heavenly eloquence Elohim's presence presently evident Intricate elements, infinite intelligence Spiritual specimens, lyrically resonant The people's inheritance, smaller percentages Carefully measured and meant to be shared With the message projected, cemented, embedded The sensible, sensible question is, is what would you get from it? Made mistakes on purpose To divide the word from the worthless Reveal the facts to be certain No pain, no gain in the verses My faith in a lot of all churches Cause Yah is personal person So I'm aware of a complicated versions Cause the call to divine divergence I'm still hurting, so searching Then working and murking Any time to can drop my curtain with a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The mental mouth nourish until I perish Music Satan's favorite gateway Because music can be a demonic portal Um... What I mean by that, you know, everybody knows the popular quote, what goes in must come you out. You now tuned right? in to the Network of Awareness. Your mind and soul is going to eventually reflect in your actions and your thoughts. Thoughts. It's a fight to the finish, just like Tyson and Phyllis. The spirit guides me to finish. To touch you, I hope you feel it. No doubt, and that's for the pigeons. This right to the villain of evil, manipulating this generation of children. The things I see in the media got me heated up. Girls barely in their teens used for pedophilia. Celebrities simply misleading them. How can you live with yourself knowing damn well that you're deceiving them? Feeding them nonsensical bullshit for their mental. Like it's cool to be famous when you know it's detrimental. Y'all convince them that it's hard work, dedication, and God. Last time I checked, we give all our praises straight to Yahweh. Hey, come on. The music is more than just vibes. It keeps us pushing forward every day of our lives. It's my nine to five to do it and do it right. You know I gotta stay on the grind. If the section was the only way that I could reach the me, I would stop rapping in a heartbeat. Music is a way of praising Father Yahweh and the But Babylon tells you chase the dream. Infinite songs, but only one third of it is living up to what it's supposed to be. Think Elohim for the remnant who understands the power of music. The fear of COVID got people so petrified. In one's life lies out of Satan choose a side. A lot of righteous haters try to play both sides They lack faith and work so spirit stays penalized I realize life is hard without the most high And he who knows there's much to learn is really wise Mad grateful to be alive to see the sun rise Try to stop my vibes, I'm exercising so the nose I'm in my prime, righteously prepared to shine and grind So stop this surprise every time you analyze my rhymes Cause all is aligned with stars you can't even find I spit that light that leaves chills up in your spine You could have water but didn't, who you Kidding me, my fans but in forbidden. Who the fuck is you fibbing? You better think, think twice, twice before you think on tripping on y'all children. If you feel hard, then we gonna make you harder. Hearing, hearing. If deception was the only way that I could reach the me, I would stop rapping in a heartbeat. Music is a way of praising Father Yahweh Elohim, but Babylon tells you chase the dream. Infinite songs, but only one third of it is living up to what it's supposed to be. Think Elohim for the women. Understands the power of music. You don't like music influences your behavior or people's you, behavior? If you allow music to do it, it's a difference. You know, like I said, there's people out here who could consume music one way and not, well, at least they feel they're not affected by it. There's other people who live their life through music. Like anything that certain artists say is Bible to them. Soldier, 
Cosmos starts steep as an ocean. He chose and focused the to get a crown in the road with it. Road is narrow and focused. You can tell by the way in which he goes with it. None of these rappers, yeah, opposes the law, sold in them. Holding them all accountable for the music controlling them. Countless of hundred thousands of soulless people supporting them. Righteous music accounts, most folks won't go to them. Don't worry about it, cause Yahweh yeah, knows who the chosen is. Shalom to them for constantly dropping projects for Yahweh spin. Ooh, for the spirit, what you hearing, now you confident. Daily battle fighting hard like we in a boxing gym. Babylon ain't looking so no more, she needs oxygen. Got the wind, still got motions floating that we got to live. Positive, roller coaster, corporate, watch cooperative. Jab now, cry later, just not with the consequence. Zombies swelling in the dark, my direction where Yahweh is. Destined for greatness, but not the kind that you're thinking of. Pointless being famous in a realm that the demons run. Yet, you still got takers who make it, make it vibrations. Elated eagles and cadences leave you feeling all vacant. Cause Satan takes them and breaks them and makes them look real amazing. The gaze and phase in the matrix, embracing the fake and awaken. The cake and bacon temptation persuades to change your foundation. If y'all were in your brain, then we end up in population. All right, brothers and sisters, uh, thanks for tuning in to this live broadcast. My apologies for the technical difficulties. We'll get that all squared away uh, when we do the next live broadcast. 
In the meantime, when you live in the present, there's always an opportunity for a new beginning. And don't look for the light at the end of the tunnel because the light is and always will be within you. So light up that tunnel and find your way through the darkness. This is all the information saying peace, love, and light, brothers and sisters, and all praises to the Most High. Shalom.